Sup, dude? You and you guy too? I've been uh, here two months. No. Hope I haven't tied myself to a sinking ship. No, I'm not exactly a new guy. Do you know what's happening at the manufacturing plant? Some kind of break-in, I heard. Yeah, apparently I'm here for that. Sup, dude? Adam, you're in today too? I guess Sarif called you about the Milwaukee Junction affair? I guess so. What's up? Oh man, look at this. I didn't think we'd see you for another six months, no matter what Seraph said. Apparently, I uh, took the augmentation really well, and here I am. Trying to eat pizza. Old pizza. Getting Hello? a phone call, huh? It's the wrong number. I've got my doubts. He's been recovering for six months. Are you going to talk about me when I'm right here? I don't know how many people were there. Okay, bye. Right. Apparently everyone wants to talk about me in this building. Adam so Jensen? Are you sure it's okay for you to be back so soon? I mean, making the transition from organic to synthetic can be difficult at times. Eh, don't worry about me. I'm probably patient X, so uh, I should be good to go. Diane Gonzalez. How's it going, dude? Jensen? Wow. I mean, uh, Sarah spared no expense putting you back together, I guess. Nice to see you looking so, uh, well, different. Sure. Mika Pine. Mika's a cool name. What's up, lady? Adam Jensen. I didn't think we'd see you back this soon. Guess you were luckier than most. Yeah, well, probably not the best security guard still. I mean, I didn't kill anyone. Sup? You here to kick some purity first ass? No. Go teach those bastards a lesson. We'll hold down the fort while you're gone. I mean, maybe if I'm just punching them in the face, knocking them out, that would work for me. Sup? Sorry, Mr. Jensen, I'm really busy. The media is looking for reactions on the break-in, and Lyle's got me fact-checking for him. Alright. Now we're back to this place. Okay. Let's go say hi to Mr. P. What's up, dude? How you doing? About time. What happened? You get stuck in an air duct on the way over? Something yeah, like nice that. Nice to see you too, Francis. Something's wrong with my retinal display. Can you fix it? If it's what I think it is, probably. Of course, it might be. Oh, oh like great, I can't hear anything. Right imaging processors weren't completely in sync. But don't worry, your sentinel health implant will kick in soon, repairing any damage that might have caused. Your retinal display should be fine now. Its recognition software won't be picking up hostiles yet, but you should be seeing radar and targeting reticules. All right. Biomedical data too, if you're in pain. Right. We done here? Because Seraph is waiting for me at the helipad. I know. Radicals have broken into our manufacturing plant and taken hostages. So I've heard. Maybe this time you'll actually save people. Oh, fuck you. I'll just ignore that. Lucky for you, I'm gonna ignore that comment. We're done here. Oh, and by the way, Jensen, I know you've gone through a lot of physical changes of late, but you didn't become a woman. Stay out of the ladies' restroom. Hey! How did you know I did that? <laughs> I would... Wait a minute, are you watching everything I do through my eyes? You jerk! That's what you're doing, aren't you? It's on one of these computer screens, I bet. What is this? Ebook. The Nature of Neuroplasticity. From a lecture by Hugh Darrow given at the Bern Institute of Medicine 2013. The term neuroplasticity literally means the flexibility of the brain to recognize it or uh, reorganize itself based on the result of experience. Two decades ago, the consensus among cognitive neuroscientists like yourselves was that the lower brain and uh, whoa, uh, neurocrotic. 
yeah, I'm totally going to get tongue-tied with all these neuroscientific words. Okay. Neurocortial. Blah, 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 blah. Anyways, areas were unable to be changed after development, whereas structures such as memory could be actively altered in areas related to formation of, e of uh, recall. In a series of cleverly designed experiments, Michael Merzenich, something like that? Uh, Merzenich, yeah, you know what, I don't know. Proved that... Uh, Somatosensory and auditory sensations, touch and hearing, respectively, can in fact be modified through practice. This process of long-term potentiation was further explored in a series of studies in the mid-90s at Southern Illinois University. Studies which clearly showed how memories could be enhanced by manipulating neuroplasticity. Indeed, with the precise timing available to us in today's computers, we can clearly see that enhancement in learning can be applied for areas of the motor cortex, auditory cortex, somatosensory cortex, and the hippocampus. Manipulation of neuroplasticity makes it clear that we, as a species, have been blessed with a brain that has an unparalleled flexibility to incorporate neuroprosthetic augmentations. Awesome. I will read as if I am a neuroscientist. No, no, I can't do that. Jeez. Apparently it's a uh, Cyberboost Pro Energy Bar. I'll take that. Got an update. Let's see. How does that? How does this update work? Back in the saddle. Uh, go to the helipad with my retinal display working properly. It's now time to blah 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 blah. All that kind of stuff. There's my inventory. All right. F2 for quest. Oh, quest items, I guess. Got some credits. Next, Praxis. Total XP. So I'm guessing Praxis means level? Uh, I'm guessing something like that. Let's see, do I have any augmentation points to do anything? We got a radar system, hacking, hacking, infolink, Sentinel RX health system. I kind of wonder if these are different based on how you handled the first situation. As if, um, you know, if you went by without killing anyone, are these different? I don't know. Anyways, let's see here. Um, health system. So this is already up as high as it's gonna go whatever that's for I don't know if there's any way to upgrade that further uh, series 8 energy converter cybernetic arm prosthesis retinal smart vision reflex booster and Icarus landing system apparently remember Icarus from uh, I think Deus Ex. I can't remember if it was Invisible War, though. Dermal armor. Cloaking system. This I will definitely want. Let's see here. We got some uh, leg prosthesis. It's probably to run faster or something. Oh. Cool. So you can just kind of click on it and look at it. Uh, variable per upgrade. Variable per upgrade. Variable per upgrade. What's the info on this? Places a person's organic limbs with enhanced functioning mechanical substitutes. On a basic level, these grant the user the ability to reach greater heights while jumping. Additional functionalities include enhanced jump range, uh, greater sprint speed, and the ability to move without audible detection. Ooh. 
ooh, I might like this, become uh, possible as familiarity with the augmentation increases. The Hermes 2027 Cybernetic Lake Prosthesis is an augmented artificial limb built on a framework of advanced polymers and light metals in place of organic musculature. These augmentations utilize uh, myomers bunches and electro-stimulated plastic cables that mimic the actions of muscle tissues but to a greatly strengthened uh, degree. In combination with tiny motors and shock-absorbing liquid polymer buffers, these cyber limbs are capable of far exceeding human physical attributes. Interesting. Let's see here. Check out this cloaking system. So we need two to get that. Come invisible for a short period of time. Warning, people can still hear you move. Alright, so we need the leg implants and this if we want to be silent stalkers here. Which is probably the way I'm going to end up going for this, uh, this playthrough here. When activated, the glass shield cloaking system augmentation bends the light, hitting the user, rendering him practically invisible. The effect will work on any wavelength that is part of the visual spectrum, including laser beams. Awesome, so this makes me go through laser beams? That is really sweet. The glass shield cloaking system is composed of a grill, uh, pleh, a grid of fine induction wires connected to a deep tissue control implant, typically located in the back or rib cage, which in turn is linked to the brain. The matrix can be layered directly beneath the surface of the epidermis or over the plating of cybernetic limbs. When activated, it generates a tuned fixed focus electromagnetic field that temporarily adjusts the frequency of EM radiation around the user. The net effect is a cloak of invisibility, which appears near perfect. So we get uh, some Harry Potter powers, apparently. That's cool. Hold on, hold on. Was there actually like... Oh, I see. It's just uh, different levels, more or less. Upgrade cost zero. I guess until you buy this, you can't really tell. I mean, you can tell this one, so I don't know. Hmm. Okay, whatever. We'll figure it out later. Let's see. Got some armor. I don't really care about armor if I'm going to be sneaking past everyone. I suppose it might be useful at some point. So we got uh, something to probably breathe underwater or maybe in gas. Typhoon explosive system. Isn't that that thing that we saw earlier that was knocking over a whole bunch of people? If that um, doesn't kill them, that might be kind of cool. Let's see here. Cybernetic arm, aim stabilizer. I don't know if I'll be caring about aim stabilizer unless I've got something that's going to knock them out. Anyway. Oh, we got a nice little map. That's cool. Elevator over there. Alright. Let's see here. Oh, cool. We can actually go over the the emails that we got before at any given time that we want. Ebooks. Oh, interesting. So, uh, collecting ebooks is apparently something that we want to uh, to do. Change location. Hmm. I don't know what that's about. Anyway, so we should be looking for ebooks apparently. Main missions. Alright. Cool. So, this game seems like it's got a uh, 
a definite similar mechanic for uh, for the game compared to the original Deus Ex games, where it's a good idea to search around. Even if you get your boss pissed off at you and some bad things happen, that is an awesome looking motorbike. Can I take any of these tools? Use them for something? No? What's this? Credit chip. Nice. Money. What else we got in here? Typical RPG fashion, stealing everything. Do I have mantling capabilities? That doesn't look like it. Just looks like I gotta jump on top of stuff. Oh well. That is looking like that's probably about it for this place. Don't really see much of anything else. And I have actually seen someone do this with monitors before. I have no idea how they managed it either. It's crazy that they put these monitors like that. And you, you gotta wonder, do they do this alone, or do they have someone that's helping them? Because that would be really difficult to, uh, to set up like that. Maybe that's just my opinion, but damn. Alright, well, that seems to be about it for this office. See if we can hack our way into any of these other offices that we passed by before. Just out of curiosity. What's up? Oh. I, uh... I can hack, apparently. Let's see here. Security rating 2. Darn. So that means I can't really do this. That's too bad. I would love to try hacking right now. Oh, shut up. Let's see, what's the hack level for this one? Still two. However, I do see a nice little panel back there. As if there might be a way in still. Let's see if any of these actually have the capability to hack them. Nope. Out of random curiosity, what was that? Zero, four, five, one? Nope, doesn't work. Let's try this one. Nope, not happening. Okay. And we got a couple more offices over here. I think all these are going to be two. This one's a two as well. No, that's a three. Holy. I don't know. The guy's almost died. Hmm. Interesting. So some of them are different. 